If a is any vector in a space, then show that a dot i into i plus a dot j into j plus a dot k into k equals a vector. It means they are saying that in this such a complex system, if you solve this, the result will be the original vector. This is. So, do not be confused and scared with the complex uh, structure given on the left hand side. Uh, this can be solved easily. For these questions, what you have to do, solution, I am writing the solution now and we will do it together. Let a vector equals a1i, I am taking, taking its components. So, a, let a vector be a1i plus a2j plus a3k and now the left hand side. Using the left hand side, what is the first part of the left hand side? That is a dot i. So, when I take a dot i, i means i plus 0 j plus 0 k. So, the result will only be a 1 multiplied with 1 that is a 1 because rest of the terms will be 0 because a 2 will be multiplied to 0 and a 3 will be multiplied to 0. So, it is simply a 1. So, now this implies that what is a 1 dot i with i that becomes a 1 i. I call it equation number 1. Similarly, what is a dot j with j? You will say a2 and j. Yes, it is a2 with j. And a dot k with k. So, the result of a dot k will be a3. So, a3 with k will simply be a3 k. So, this is equation number 2, this is equation number 3. Now, add them. So, adding 1, 2 and 3, you can, you can get the idea that how simple the question is. We get oh, a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k and we have already taken this as a vector and this is nothing but a right hand side hence proved. This is very simple question and it is important for boards also. If the sum of two unit vectors is a unit vector then find the magnitude of their difference then find the value of the magnitude of their difference. If the sum of two unit vectors is a unit vector, let A cap and B cap be such, such vectors, be two unit vectors. Such that their sum is also a unit vector. So, this is the a given part of a question that sum of two unit vectors is also a unit vector and the target is this is missing, this is the target. So, we do squaring same way apply distributive and commutative law
Now this is gone. So what is a dot b? Twice of a dot b is minus 1 and hence a dot b is minus 1 by 2. Now comes, you see, we are given that this is equal to 1, we did squaring and we got the logic that a dot b is minus 1 by 2. Now, taking this and squaring, what we get? We get a dot a minus 2 times of a dot b plus b dot b So, from the previous result, we can put the value. Do you remember the value? This was minus half. This value is minus 1 by 2. A dot B is minus 1 by 2. So, we are substituting this value here and the result is coming 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3. So, taking the square root positive square root because it should not be plus minus because it's it's a magnitude so it should not be plus minus so the time we take a root it turns to root 3 so the value of the magnitude of their difference is root 3 so the sum of two unit vectors is a unit vector but the magnitude of their difference is square root of 3